Last time we filmed our, I was gonna say last time we filmed our one year ago interviews, they were a year ago. Can you say, and then what you say, how you miss me? Yeah, you miss me, and all the things that we did. We saw you gonna travel from the Alice to Madrid. We had a lot of plans, but they all disappeared. Why? Oh, because of some kids. But it's okay, cause I'm moving different. They'll be saying nothing when I post it with other bitches. Pull for my brothers. Welcome back to interviewing ourselves a year apart from each other. We're supposed to do this January 15th, but that's the day of our LA show, so we're doing it five days early. So it's technically 360 days apart. My name is Matthew Bernard Sterniello. The name is still Matthew Bernard Sterniello. It hasn't changed much. Bernard's Awkward. crazy though. Bernard's ridiculous. Saturday, January 15th, 2022. January 10th, Tuesday, 2023. 18. 19 years old. 52.3 thousand. 1.9 million Instagram followers. 26,185. 833,099. What? 833,000. And 99. Is there a different way to say that? Am I fucking okay, stupid? Okay, okay. I get recognized in public when I go to the mall. That's about it. And like maybe like everyone sprinkle in every once in a while, but that mostly the mall. That's about it. Honestly, like a lot. Like if if I'm going to Target and there's a teenage girl there, just gotta assume that she's gonna know who I am. But like honestly, it's fun. It's great. Um, but yeah, way more often than last time. Last time it was only like malls and shit, but now it's like if I go to the grocery store, so. Don't be a baby. Real talk, like, like it sounds like a joke, but literally just don't be a baby. Not to, not to stress that much over non-stressful situations and that everything's gonna work out and be fine. Um, hit 100,000 subscribers on tour which is fucking insane like I we did a show in Texas this year or last year but it's like the fact that we're doing like our own show under our own name is just fucking crazy and it's like 15 states across the United States of America which is ridiculous um oh, I love the bench warmers I feel like I don't really like have a favorite movie but like that's like a movie that like if it's on I can't not watch it my favorite movie changes all the time but I will say the movie that like stuck with me the most this year is the Batman one with Robert Pattinson, I think. I have, and I am not. No. Biggest regret is, this is, another, this is also gonna sound like a joke, but being a baby when I told myself not to be. Dead serious. Like it, it sounds like a joke to people, but like, that's the mentality I have, don't be a baby. My biggest regret is not focusing on myself and my feelings more. College ain't for everybody. Learned a lot of big things this year. But most important is stick with your family. Family knows best. I don't, I'd like to visit all 50 states. So I don't have like a place in particular, but I'd love to see like every state just to see how each one's op each state operates, I guess. I sure said I wanted to visit every state and now we're going on tour across the United States, which is ridiculous. But I don't know, I feel like I don't really wanna like leave the country. I'm kinda good in the fifty states, but I just wanna go to all of them. That's really my goal. So the same as last year. Same as last year, <laughs> but like get more done. What? My favorite color is still blue. Love blue. Pretty good. I feel like I've been, I've, I've had ups, I've had downs, but right now I'm kind of like a little past medium. Yeah. Hey, there's always, always been better, but I'm just still chilling, so we're fine. I think it's gonna have to be my lyrical lemonade sweater that has like it's like reversible and it's got like the lemons on it and like it looks like it's like plants and stuff it's cool
<laughs> no. Yes. Matt, Thank no. You. I'm trying to think. Oh, this it's like crazy. Last I I didn't really appreciate pants enough last year. So I think pants are just like some great things. I think all my corduroy pants are like my favorite things that I own. I just love pants. Favorite song is Whirly by Dominic Fike. Dominic Fike is definitely one of my top artists, but same with Skies, which is the same as Chris's last year, but like my music taste is Chris's music taste, just with like one or two artists that he doesn't like that much, so. Nothing, absolutely nothing. Zero. Nope. Never. Someone I wanna meet? Baylin Levine. I mean, we're on mutuals with him on Instagram. Oh, and Johnny Ransom. Those are like the two. Mr. Johnny and Mr. Balin. My last year, my answer was Balin and Johnny. Balin, I definitely still want to meet, but we just got to, obviously, both busy people, both YouTubers. Just one of us got to go to the other one. And Johnny is like a good friend of mine now, which is crazy. So I met him like this year, fucking got really close to them, went on his podcast. I fucking have his brand logo tattooed on my arm now too. So it's just crazy how like, you look at like a year ago and then right now and I got his brand tattooed on me for life. So, love John. I, I don't, no. No. Obviously I wanna keep doing YouTube stuff, but I wanna focus on like, I don't know what I want to focus on. That's the, that's the problem. I want to focus on more things that aren't YouTube, but keep YouTube as good as it's gone. If that makes sense. I hope it does. A goal for this year that I have is to, it's literally like the same as my goal last year, but I just want to focus on something like individually to get done. Like Chris's accomplishment this year with his clothing brand is like amazing and I just want to do some shit individually, but I'm not sure exactly what it is yet, but I, I will figure it out. I know I will. Yeah. I don't want to hold a grudge against myself. Yes, 100%. First time going to LA. Um, honestly, my birthday last year, it was fucking awesome. Like, Nate was in LA, we were at Palm Springs, it was just amazing, there was no problems, it was great. It was awesome. I have my ears pierced and no tattoos. I'm probably done with piercings. Probably, that's a big probably. I think I'm done though. Um, and then tattoos, I'll probably get a couple. Not many though. Okay, I have Marvin the Martian for my dad because when we were little kids, he used to like voice impression him and I love my dad. So I got that for my dad. I have this key on my arm with three, four, six triplets us three and Justin, us three and Justin and my mom and my dad, so like the numbers of our family on a key. And the three leafs is like, for me, it's like I really just, first I think they just look really cool, and second, it's like, now that I'm out in California, I love the weather here, but like the weather back home is like my favorite fucking weather in the world. Like I just love the fall, love being in like Vermont and New Hampshire shit, so like that's like a little part of like back home nature here. And then, this is the, Johnny's brand logo, um, license plate of the minivan that we first started doing car videos in, and then this one with like correlating with Nick, like the shootout or standoff. Three Nights by Dominic Fike. Breathe by Lil Skies, fucking one of my top two songs ever. That and Okay For Now are my top two songs ever, both my Skies. Well, and Whirly, but those are my top three. Hit 100k on YouTube. Fly alone, move out of my parents' house, and kind of just become an adult. Look at how far you came. Oh my god. <laughs> Shit might not be easy, but nothing ever is, so. Bars. Bars. My name's Christopher. Owen My name is Chris Sterniolo. January 15th, Saturday, 2022. Tuesday, January 10th, 2023. I'm 18.
19 years old. I'm 19 years old. I have 83,000 Instagram followers. I have 2.2 million Instagram followers. My most liked Instagram post is just of under 40,000. It is 39. 30, 39,478. My most liked post, I'm pretty sure is like a Booth by Bryant photo that I archived. Yeah, my most liked photo is 870,845, which is like fucking astronomical. Like, it's disgusting how many people that is. That like makes me sick to my stomach. <laughs> but it, it's crazy in a good way. Whenever we go to like a really public place, like if we were to go to like a sports game or Bruins game or like the mall or something, there's a good possibility, but not every time. Probably like two to three times like a month, maybe, I wanna say. Maybe less than that, once a month. Dude, me, Matt, and Nick, like if we're walking, us three get recognized pretty much everywhere we go now, which is like insane to think about. And um, especially like the airport, I hate getting noticed at the airport, but everywhere else is so much fun. Me and Matt the other day had to pee and we were on the road and we pulled over and went to a subway and the girl knew who we were and like we did, I took like a selfie with her. It was fun. I would tell myself not to let others have total control of your emotions. Or like, don't let other people tell you shit or tell you what to do, especially adults. Don't let adults like be like, oh, you can't do this because blah, 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 blah. And you have to listen to me because I'm an adult. No, you don't. Respect your elders, be respectful, but just like teachers and stuff that like tell you you can't do shit are wrong. You can do whatever you want. Just be safe about it. Um, to slow down and look around and just like see where you are, enjoy wh where you are, and like just be more in the moment instead of thinking like what's next. Um, probably going to LA or stuff in LA that we can't really talk about yet because it hasn't happened yet, but that's definitely the biggest thing. Wow. That's such a crazy question because how, of how many things like have happened to me this year. Like my my own brand. Uh, I think one thing, like the best thing that happened career wise and the craziest thing is just the fact that me, Matt, and Nick literally like live off of YouTube now. Like, and that's our only job. Favorite movie? My favorite movie is The Dark Knight, the Batman one. But like, that's like a very aggressive movie. Like if I have to go calm, I'm probably going The Grinch. I love The Grinch, but any Grinch, any version of it, it's fire. My favorite movie? I feel like I like Get Out and like Us by Jordan Peele, like those are crazy ones. No, neither. No, I don't plan to be, I don't want to be, I am not. not starting YouTube earlier. I feel like me, Matt, and Nick always wanted to do YouTube, but we took it seriously once quarantine happened. But um, I feel like if we started beforehand, like while we were still in like high school, like our, our sophomore year, we'd be like crazy right now, like million subscribers or something. So that's probably one of my biggest regrets. My biggest regret's probably trying to move too quick, which kind of goes to my advice thing. Like just take shit one step at a time, like, and enjoy it a little more because I feel like I stress myself out with how fast I'm trying to do things. Biggest thing I learned this year is um, to keep your circle small and just be friends with real people and um, people that aren't really there for you to like just eliminate them from your life because I feel like I have my closest group of friends I've ever had in my life right now. So I'm very happy about that. Biggest thing I learned this year is um, to value people that value you and to just um, cherish every moment with somebody because like I cherish all my moments with my family when I'm back home. I cherish every moment with my brothers when I'm here and I cherish my moments with like literally everybody I meet and just like soak in as much as you can. I want to leave the country. I don't know why. I don't know where. 
Maybe like, I want Bahamas, maybe. That'd be cool. I think the my favorite place we visited this year, which is where I want to visit again, is Catalina Island, because it's just so small and like chill. And like just something nice and warm and just water and sand and stuff like that. But yet again, I also like the polar opposite. Like I like like forests and like trees. I like love that shit. I like go to the park all the time and just like sit at a park like I'm like a little kid. But I just love nature and shit. So somewhere where it's like beautiful outside. Probably like the redwood forest I want to go so bad. I also want to go to like just like big foresty places. My favorite color, Matt kind of stole my favorite color, but mine's like baby blue or, or purple. I like orange too. Orange is really cool. Oh my God, my favorite color is orange. Has to be. I'm pretty good. I mean, I'm getting better. I, I don't know. I feel like if I had to do on a scale from one to 10, probably like a four mentally, but hey, ups and downs. What can you do? How am I seriously? I'm like chilling because, you know, I'm happy. I'm with my family and with my brothers and I'm, I've like, I've become very like a mental, like calm, relaxed, think a little bit, slow down. Like I, I've really trained myself mentally to just be better. Like I don't take things as seriously as much in a good way. Like everything, you know, like life's going to be gone before we all know it. So you might as well just relax and and chill out. My favorite clothing item I own is probably my my new shorts I just got that I haven't even posted in yet. They're like, they look like an old like roller rink carpet and I love them very much. My black pair of pants with like a fuck ton of pockets on them. My favorite song is right now is probably Die For You by Justin Bieber featuring Dominic Fike. That's probably my favorite song currently right now. My favorite artist is always Skies and always has been, but Dominic Fike this year kind of like just, just totally took over. Like he is like my favorite artist of all time right now. Him and Skies are equivalent. Uh, my favorite song and artist, my favorite artist Skies, like you guys know that and Dom and uh, Mac Miller, I love Mac. I like Travis Scott a lot lately, I like Don Tolliver, I like Nav, love Nav. You know, I just like, I love every, I love all music, like it's hard for me not to relate. I used to hate on like Billie Eilish and, and like other female artists when Nick would play it, because I used to just be like one of those kids that can only listen to rap, but I've really expanded and like, it's hard for me to not enjoy a song now. And to pick a favorite song is like so difficult, like, Terrible, terrible, terrible. I don't want to pick like a sad song. But I like Come Back to Earth by Mac Miller. I like Cut the Check by Mac Miller. I like Okay for Now by Lil Skies. I like When I'm Wasted by Lil Skies. I like Blue Strips by Lil Skies. Like, yeah, I could go on and on about favorite songs. I could literally talk about any genre of music or anything forever. So I'm just going to stop right there. <laughs> I don't think I, if given the decision, I would. The only thing I feel like would be cool is if I was like a little bit taller, but I don't even think I'd do that if I had the ability to change it. I think I'd just stay how I am. No, absolutely not. So I, I wanna meet Kaylin because we've been friends with Kaylin on the internet for like over a year now and never met. I wanna hang out with her and her brother, Johnny. I wanna meet, um, I really wanna meet like Skies because like, I don't know, like, listening to all his music and, like, all throughout high school and shit, like, I don't know, it's just, like, it was just so crazy, so. I feel like if I met Skies, that'd be, like, one of the craziest days of my life. Um, I want to meet Skies. I think I said that last year. I also want to meet Balin. And shout out to Johnny and Kaylin, because we did meet them this year, and they're, they're homies now. They're awesome. I love them so much. Do I have a crush on anyone? Not really. I, there's good-looking girls, but, you know. Don't like anyone, so. A crush would require m emotion. Yeah, a crush would re require something beyond physical attraction, so. I do not have a crush on anyone. No, I, I like a lot of people. Um, a goal I want to complete this year? 
I really want to hit like a million subscribers this year, which I feel like is low key pushing it. But I feel like me, Matt, and Nick could do it. I think we could do it. But that's like very, very forcing it. So who knows? But anything's possible, am I right? Who knows what we'll be at. <laughs> Um, I want to get into music more and like try to like either learn how to play the guitar which I used to I used to be good at it and then I like kind of slacked and forgot or like just do something music related for myself or just like get more in the music scene with our YouTube videos like make videos with artists and stuff like that like that's one of my goals this year as well. Um, a goal I have for this year is just to build my brand out to like a new audience of like I want like I want to reach people that are like unimaginable unimaginable with my brand. I want it to be for all ages, for all genders, for all like everybody. That's my goal is just to expand it as much as I can and just get everyone to love it with my brand. I also just want to just like, I feel like as a YouTuber and a content creator, like YouTube is fun and all, but there's so much more that you can explore just for fun. Like I have friends in music, I have friends in acting, I have friends in like everything now. And I'm just so grateful to be able to like think of anything I want to do and achieve it. So I think one of my goals is just to like, like, um, if life is a buffet, I'm going to go and take from every single thing and see which one I like the most is the best way to put it, you know? I'm going to grab some chicken, grab some rice, grab some corn, and if I really like the corn, I'm going to go back and get some more corn. Yeah, I'm very happy with what I've done so far. Um, absolutely, and I think, um... If I ever thought the other way, I think I'd be really sad. You know, you want to, like, always be okay with just, like, how you're living life. And I feel like that question is, like, a if you thought of that question every day before you went to bed, like, your mindset would just be so different, so. If I could relive any moment, it's, this is going to sound so corny, but probably Prime Fortnite. Because Prime Fortnite, like, season two, season three, like, just with the with my friends, with Nathan, with like my older brother Justin, like that, those were some, some of like my most fond memories, like, and it was the beginning of high school, so like just that time period, probably freshman year of high school, I'd repeat. Uh, I don't think I have a particular memory, but I'd just go back and, and, and like, like just probably witness more of like our career happening before our eyes, like hitting 100k, hitting 250k, taking the photos for that, like hitting a million, hitting like like all those moments in time where we just like hit all these landmarks and like watched our career unfold. Like I wish I just watched it more and documented more like real shit, like just like emotional and all that stuff. Cause it was truly like the craziest year of our lives ever. I only have my earlobes, but I want to get I want to get my a nose stud, but I don't know if I'm gonna. I'm like on the fence about it. I feel like I'm just gonna send it one day. And I have zero tattoos, but I want to get um, I want to get Rudolph. I don't know why. I got nothing, bro. I was gonna get that nose stud, but I didn't do it. I remember I was gonna get it, but my nose hurt one day. I like booked the appointment, and then I had a runny nose, and I was like, do I really want to get a nose stud if I like have to blow my nose? And I just never went back and got it. And then tattoos, like. I want them and I'm not scared of the pain, but I'm scared of the fact that it's on me forever. West Coast Collective by Dominic Fike. Dior Runners by Nav. One thing I did this year that I never have done before is leave Massachusetts on my own with just Nick and Matt, like without my mom or anything, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I probably travel with just my brothers. Um, one thing I did this year that I've never done before is my ability and like my confidence of just like meeting and communicating with people like I feel like I am just like I, I I'm terrible reading and I'm terrible talking out loud like to just myself but when I'm in actual conversations with real life people like I feel like I'm I'm really good at that what is the fucking question what did I what is something I've never done before yeah I think I've like learned a lot of how to just talk and communicate and one thing I did le this year that I've like never really done before is just going into conversations and engaging in conversation so much more confidently than I ever have in my life don't trip over something that's not worth it just stop overthinking stop worrying about shit everything's gonna fall into place and it probably already has 
What I said last year is just straight bars. I'd say it again. Run it back. What's my name? Is Nicholas Sterniolo. Antonio is the middle name. Nick Sterniolo. Nicholas is the long version. <laughs> <laughs> January 15th, 2022. January 10th, 2023. Uh, 18. Uh, 19. I have 44,000. Okay. I have 2 million Instagram followers. It is 18,327. Um, my most liked Instagram photo is 646,000. What? 600, likes. Just terrifying. Are comparing. you saying that wrong? 646,000? 446. 460. 4, 6, no, 6, 4, yeah. 6. Yeah. 380. Okay, yes. Because <laughs> you weren't saying that. Please keep that whole thing in. Hold on, what am I saying? <laughs> Um, barely ever. It's like I feel like whenever we go to a mall, it's more inclined to happen because there's like hundreds of people there. So, and me and Chris are triplets. So sometimes I can't tell if people are just staring at us because they're seeing three of the same person or they're staring at us because they've seen us on the internet. Oh my god, anywhere that there's like kind of like a swarm of teen girls, I have a feeling and then usually it's like, yep, correct. Relax. Like, just relax. Like, you should have been way more relaxed. I was worried about way too many things and I was. Um, insanely dependent on male validation, so I need to just chill. That's about it. Just value the spot that you're in Because I'm not in that spot anymore, and it was kind of fun. So I'd just say value the spot that you're in Um, Probably signing to a management making new friends through it a um, hundred thousand subscribers Signing up for a YouTube plaque that should be at our house. Hopefully soon so we can take cool photos with it um, Going to LA for the first time, a lot of things, a lot of nutty things. Growing over 10K subscribers weekly for over a month. The biggest thing to happen to me career-wise is like ridiculous because we're filming this early because we're about to leave for a tour on the day that it was supposed to start. So we're going on a full tour. Um, we've made just so many friends that are like new people. And I feel like that's like a, just like a career-wise step because it's like because of the career that we have, we're able to meet so many new people. And then I'd say like, we just did so many fun things. We met goals that we set for ourselves, like a million on YouTube, we passed that. It was just like, just so many crazy experiences and goals were hit and it's just crazy. Like every, I feel like the entire year was a co career-wise accomplishment. Nothing will ever top, I don't think, the OG Mighty Morphin Power Rangers with Amy Jo Johnson as the Pink Ranger and Aisha as the Yellow Ranger. Well, my favorite movie is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and I also really like Hercules, the Disney movie. I also, I'm like a really little kid movie, or I'm like a severe crazy horror, like fun, mind-twisting movie. So it's like one or the other. I also watched Insidious for the first time this year, and that was kind of fire. Like, Insidious was good. It was crazy and scary, but it was like, fun. Um, I am currently not, thank the Lord Jesus Christ, and I have been. I am not in a relationship right now. Um, probably isolating myself as a child. I feel like I'd be, I would have been a happier child had I not forced myself to be alone. But that was my own fault, so. My biggest regret this year is probably not taking time to sniff the flowers. And what I mean by that is just like, me, Matt, and Chris had so many successes and so many fun things that happened for us this year. So I feel like we didn't really take time to cherish every single one of those moments. It's okay to be alone. You don't need to be in a relationship or even be Snapchatting someone. It is totally mighty fine to be by yourself. The biggest thing I've learned this year is that Matt and Chris are and always will be my best friends. Um. I feel like Greece is really like cool looking and I really want to go on like a ski trip and take photos on like like a log cabin. I want to like stay in a log cabin somewhere. That's not really a place but like maybe like New Hampshire, Vermont has nice log cabins. I did say Greece last year but I also feel like I really want to go where the, those around me want to go. Like I've picked a crowd of people I really enjoy surrounding myself around so wherever they want me I want to be there. 
And I feel like that's like a weird answer because it's not like you're thinking like someone asks you your dream vacation and you're like just with the people, but it's kind of like a home is where the heart is type beat. Like I have good people around me and I want those people to enjoy my presence wherever it brings me. Favorite color is currently, um, it changes like weekly. I'd say right now, black or purple. My favorite colors are purple and black still, shockingly. Ugh, fine. I guess it's like realistically like all right. I get, see I think I'm fine. I feel like if I was an only child, I'd be fine. But since I'm not an only child, I'm not fine. Because the reason I'm saying this is because my energy goes down if Matt and Chris's energy dips. So like if they're upset, then I'm just upset. And so they're upset right now. So I feel like I'm upset right now. But like if they weren't here and I wasn't worrying about them mentally all the time, probably a 10, but since they're here, I'll say like a four, six, four to six. I feel like there's a lot of things that could bring me down, but I feel like there's also like every single one is a learning point. So I feel like I'm just gonna use them to create a really, really good mental health spot for myself, if that makes sense. So I wouldn't say I'm in the best mental health spot, but I'm gonna say I know exactly how to get there. Dude, this sweater, I haven't taken it off since I got it in the mail. Like, I, it's literally, it got here in the mail, I put it on, haven't taken it off, washed it once. My favorite clothing item I own are these huge black boots that I got for our tour that I'm going to wear and post on, post in soon, so I'm not going to show you or describe them any further, but keep my Instagram, because I'm going to be wearing big black boots sometimes too, sometime soon. I'm very excited. Billy Ash will always be one of my favorites. Ariana Grande will always be one of my favorites. Currently though, Doja Cat, hit and different. Favorite song right now is probably like, oh my God, Sweet Escape, but not by Gwen Stefani. The girl Bella DiNapoli from The Voice, her rendition of it that just got put on Apple Music. It's crazy. I think it's pretty good. I have a lot to buckle in. Miley Cyrus, Doja Cat, Tate McRae, SZA, Melanie Martinez, Billie Eilish, Ariana Grande, Travis Scott, and I think that might be really what it is for favorite artists. My favorite song right now is, um, see, it's really difficult because there's like always like two different answers to this question and it's my Nick alone answer and then my Nick with my brother's answer and I don't know what I'm listening to when I'm with my brothers, but I know what they play that I like and dislike. I just never really ask them what it's called or have access to that library of my music genre unless I'm with them. So like my favorite song, is 90210 by Travis Scott, love that song. And then also I have a song that I know I like, that Chris plays, but I'm gonna have to get back to you because I don't know how it goes. I don't know the name, but once you know I hear- by? No clue. I don't think I would, like, because I feel like if you get the opportunity to change it, it's kind of like magic. And I feel like, yo, I feel like if I were to change something about myself, it would be like, the butterfly effect and I'd be a completely different person, so no. I feel like it's not like a, I wouldn't change something directly about myself like right now, be like, oh, change, like this one thing. But I'd say that I know what changes I want to make to myself moving into the next year that isn't necessarily like the answer to that question, if that makes sense. I want to meet our online friend Kaylin because we've been friends forever. And then I want to like extremely blow up on YouTube so that Doja Cat knows that I exist and we can maybe get spaghetti or something. I don't want to meet this year. There's a couple of people. I really want to meet um, Doja Cat always. She's my like dream meet person. But like also not in like a freak out way. Like I don't want to like cry and hug Doja Cat. I want to be like, yo, let's talk business. <laughs> don't know what I mean by that either. But I also on a more like realistic note. Sorry, I got to grab some pretzels. You're good. On a more realistic note, I really want to meet um, my friend, uh, at least in my opinion, Tate McRae. I think that she's extremely talented. Her album came out this year and I was listening to it on repeat. I just think she's a really cool person. Um, she follows me on Instagram. We've been in contact with each other. I, I hope if you see this, you don't think I'm like a weirdo. Like no one, <laughs> no one posts this. I don't want Tate to find this. But like, we've been in communication. I think she's like, she just seems like someone I gravitate to and not in like a crazy way. Like I promise I won't like, <laughs> I promise I won't, I'm not a weirdo, I'm not gonna freak the fuck out. But I think that it's just like, she's someone that I think is cool as fuck, that knows who I am, I know who she is, and I want to be friends. That's so why they dinner pretty much, right? Yeah, like I have like a dinner, like you can come over and play Wii all the time. If someone posts this, I know there's a possibility of Tate seeing it, and that's why I'm scared. Fan accounts, if you post this, Tate, sorry.
but I'm down to meet. Sorry I had to find out under these circumstances, but you're cool, and this is me vocalizing it. Oh uh, no. No, I can't even think of three gay men. So, no. No. Um, a goal I wanna have, I wanna complete this year is probably there's a couple actually I probably wanna like I wanna start a podcast really bad. I've been telling Matt and Chris that, but it's a lot of money, it's a lot of setup, it's a lot of editing. Um I also want to start creating merch really bad. Or like cool merch. You know, you'll figure it out when we drop it. It'll be cool. But merch. I wanna do things that are new for the first time. Like I wanna like wake up and be like, I want my hair to be gone and cut it all off. I wanna go into a store and see something that I would never usually wear, find my size and purchase it. And I also want to just- Oh my God. Like I wanna just do new things. Also another goal for the show I have is just to like really like leave the house. Like I wanna go like sniff flowers, walk through a park, learn how to drive. Fucking learn how to drive, please. Cause I feel so bad asking Matt and I can't rely on Matt for the rest of my life. So I need to learn how to drive. I need to be able to go do things that I want to do. Yeah, I feel like it would suck because we have so much progress and potential, but eh, we did good. I always have to say yes to this. Um, probably standing outside of Harry Potter World um, with our LA friends for the first time, or Florida, the week in Florida with our friend Nathan. Oh my God, I have a very few specific ones. I'd say our birthday in Palm Springs was one of like the highlights of my life. Another thing I want to relive is the moment we hit one mil and I was at a Billie Eilish concert with Maddie and it was just like this sheer joy and excitement from the concert and hitting one mil and being with my best friend and walking out of the concert was like a high of like, it was just a great moment. I currently have my ears pierced, my nose pierced and oh, that's it. I just got scared. I thought I was missing something. I don't know, just my ears. I want to get my doubles really bad. And if they tell me that my earlobe isn't big enough, which I've seen happen to people, I'll do something like up a little bit more on both sides. Or like, you know, and I have no tattoos, but I'm probably, I'm hoping that when we redo this next year, I have like eight. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I really, 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 this was my number one goal. Going into like the next year, so I really did what I wanted to complete. Last minute, like a week and a half ago, I knew this was coming up. So I got my nose pierced here and I got my ear pierced over here and I got my doubles earlier this year. So I've gotten four new piercings since and then I got, I think I'm at 18 tattoos, which is really good, but I'll make a TikTok about it, I promise right now, instead of showing you guys and explaining it to like save for the jeopardizing time, but like here's my arm. I'll make a TikTok soon explaining them all. I said I was gonna do a YouTube video, but I feel like we're about to leave for tour. I'm not gonna really have time to film individually. I will make a TikTok of all of them. Last song we played. Alone by Doja Cat. Last song I played was Creep by Radiohead, and that's a banger song, and I love that song so very much. Chris already answered, said the same answer, but probably flew by myself with my siblings, without my mom and dad and older brother. So me and Chris went and ventured off, did something on our own. Oh my god, I did so much this year I've never done. I like shopped for like major furniture. Cause me and Matt and Chris moved in somewhere. Like we bought like a couch. Um, and I also just like, I just did a lot for the first time, which is great. There's so, like, oh, I feel like this entire year was doing things for the first time. I hope you're keeping that productivity up. Cause like right now I'm pretty productive. I hope that I'm like moving more. I hope that you're just doing what you, like your goals are. I hope you achieve them. Or not really goals, but like the mindset you want to be in, I hope you get there. And if not, who knows what the fuck I'll be doing. I cringe every single time I look at myself a video a week ago. So I hope you're not like crying at how horrible you look right now. But like, hey, I think I look all right, but like next year I'll probably look better, so I don't know. I just want to be in a position where like, everyone I'm around is so easy to talk to and like conversations are light and I'm just like having fun. That's not the question. What is it? Tell your future self something, Nick. Yeah, like I hope that you're in a spot where oh, okay. everyone you speak to is like, it's like light and bubbly conversations and you're just having fun. God, 20 fun. minutes later. And I hope that I have more tattoos and piercings. Cool. Say bye. Bye, love you all, and I will see you next year. Do an outro.
for the group account. <laughs> um, that has been our yearly interviews part two, but this video is getting kind of long, so we might have to chop it up for next year, but I'm excited to see you guys next year. And this is always a great experience, giving myself a little recap on what I really did. And then what you say, how you miss me? Yeah, you miss me. And all the things that we did, we said we're gonna travel from the island of Madrid.